Now I'd like to demonstrate the installation of a completed pump unit. This is the motor and the pump attached via the mount which is cast epoxy into one unit and this is the installation. Now the ballast inlet outflow tube is here. This rubber tube connects to the pump on one end and this rubber tube goes to the forward ballast tank. But before we do that, we're going to connect the electrical and then with the with the pump standing basically straight up, I'm going to put it in here. The left hand side is to the forward ballast tank the right hand side is to the inlet outflow tube and now tuck the wires in and I like to cant it over so that the tubes are in an even nice S-flow. Okay, so now the ballast pump is installed. Next is to install the hatch. Now these hatches, I'm not sure if this shows up, all have numbers on them. The sealed ballast chamber is the number four chamber, so this is the number four hatch. The number goes towards the aft. I want to set it up here, oh, before you start, have to make sure that the screws are all the way in and that the rubber seals are bottomed out before starting to put on the hatch every time. So the hatch is now seated. I go backwards just a bit until I hear it thunk down a bit and then I know that the screw is seated properly. Okay, so I didn't hear it on this one. There we go. Now it's seated. Okay, now the key to putting down these hatches is to go evenly about only a few turns at a time. And once I set myself up here, I'll start crossing over. So I'm going to cross over to the front here. Cross over. Basically forming an hourglass figure Cross diagonally, cross to the next front screw, diagonally to a back screw. Only a couple of turns at a time. It's very important that no screw is turned too many times. That could actually crack the threads. Almost done. Oops, went out of sequence there a little bit. What's most important is that the hatch is evenly tightened down. Okay, there we go, bottomed out. And then hand torquing. Easy pressure. Make sure that each screw gets about equal pressure on it. This is not too difficult, but it'd be easy to turn them too tightly and strip out the threads. Don't want to do that. These threads are strong, but not strong enough. Okay, so that is. Uh, oh, not strong enough to withstand over tightening. Let me complete my sentence there. Okay, so that's the installation of the ballast pump and the ballast pump hatch.